ആരോഗ്യമത് ഇൻഫാച്ചുവേഷൻ ഓർ ഇൻടോക്സിക്കേഷൻ ഓഫ് ഹെൽത്ത് യു മേ ബി എ വെരി ഹെൽത്തി പേഴ്സൺ ജസ്റ്റ് ബിക്കോസ് യു ആർ ഹെൽത്തി ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് നോട്ട് ഗുഡ് ടു കണ്ടിം അതർ പീപ്പിൾ സി യു ഓൾവേസ് കംപ്ലെയിൻ യു ഹാവ് എ ബാക്ക് പെയിൻ നീ പെയിൻ യു ഹാവ് എ ക്രോണിക് ഇഷ്യൂ യു ഹാവ് ദിസ് ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് നെവർ എവർ തിങ് ഈവൻ ടു ഹാവ് എ തോട്ട് ഓഫ് അബൌട്ട് ഇറ്റ് സോ ദെൻ ദ ബുദ്ധ സെയ്സ് ഇഫ് യു ഹാവ് ദാറ്റ് കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് എ തോട്ട് യു ഹാവ് ദ ആരോഗ്യ മദർ ആക്ച്വലി ബൈ നൗ നോട്ട് ഐ ഡോ തിങ്ക് ദാറ്റ് യു ക്യാൻ ഫൈൻഡ് എ സിംഗിൾ പേഴ്സൺ ഹു ഹാസ് നോ ഹെൽത്ത് ഇഷ്യൂ right <laughs> all of them have some health issues i think by uh, the, those researchers they predict that by another 10 15 years the the biggest health issue in the world is obesity because we have lots of food now it's not the uh, diabetes i think they are offshoots uh, uh, cardiovascular issues or cancers it's the obesity that is the biggest health issue in the next 10 to 20 20 years but let's say you are a very uh, health wise conscious being you are very careful about your food you are very careful about what you are doing every day but still what about your stress if you have a lot of stress at workplace what if you have other problems mental problems then you are not a healthy being but just because you are healthy never ever uh think that other people are lower than me other people are sick beings but just appreciate yourself otherwise you you will create akusalas because of that comparison there are people who might be intoxicated just because they are healthy so that's why you have to make sure that you are not infatuated intoxicated based on your health there may be other people who might think other people also should be unhealthy like me you know i am unhealthy i am obese but you should be obese too <laughs> that is another bad way of compare comparing you know that is also kind of a intoxication see i have a back pain you also have a back pain all these are mothers but here are okay mother intoxicated because of your good health I think this is the first blessing that everybody expects from a temple anyway right health does health come to us from a blessing or do we have to follow a lifestyle to be healthy mainly we have to follow a lifestyle what is the first thing that we have to think about being healthy food consumption of the food what did the buddha say about the food was he worried about what food we are eating or was he worried about how much food we are eating what was his worry how much is the problem not what food because we cannot decide that because there are different people culturally differently they are eating in one sutta dona paka sutta in the sangita nikaya dona paka Uh, i will write down in the q and a later but not now king kosala came to the buddha and then the buddha saw he is very uncomfortable you know he's like wriggling like a worm <laughs> and then the uh, buddha asked what's wrong with you he said bante i've been eating a lot because my chef is cooking a lot of food uh, for my lunch and all my meals then the buddha said chattaro pancha alope abutwa udakampe ve the king do not fill your tummy with food and beverages do we have a cultural saying that you have to fill your tummy you have to fill your tummy with food and beverages do we have such thing in some cultures but in buddhism the buddha says do not fill your tummy with food and beverages chattaro pancha leave four to five mouth uh, mouthful of food and then udakampe we drink water for that four to five morsel of food there only you will live healthy that means the buddha is very conscious that people have to eat healthily in terms of not overeating 
because in the same sutta buddha says when you eat without filling your tummy you will age slowly which is a big topic in today's world rejuvenation isn't it they are buying a lot of things cosmetic things but you can slow your aging not just that we are not impeding anicca but we have to stay healthy why we want to grow all very fast there's no because we are going to be old anyways even you eat or not then let's slow down we call it we are going to eat uh, what do you call moderately and then he is using a word actually sanika sanikang ayun sanika means uh, aging slowly in many other suttas he talks about aging is a suffering to many people the first day you got a white hair uh, a wrinkle maybe a broken tooth how much sadness that you uh, had on that day but on the other hand buddha said yes they are in, they are coming up on the way but you can age uh, what you call slowly because then you can practice more dhamma if you if you age faster then you might die fast as well take your time to age it is it is the proper way in practicing anicca for a lot of people when everything is done ah everything is anicca you know impermanent we are not that kind of you know loose beings the real buddhism is to understand life and then manage that life handle akusalas and handle this body and mind in a proper way that is true buddhism but there may be other people who might extremely understand buddhist concept anicca is one of the very i think uh, misused concept like the word palivad dukkha so arokya mother means when you are living healthily uh, then you might sometimes come up with the thought i am healthier than other people so i am better than other people that is an akusala that you are creating more akusalas on the day. so if you are healthy that is a achievement but because of that achievement do not try to put other people down even in a thought maybe you can help out others right how to live healthily 